in this section, we've got some of your replies to our question online when we asked, what were your highlights of Download Festival 2022? And there were quite a few, so we're going to read a few out for you uh, uh, this time. James Wilkinson, who I met... Uh, and had a selfie with. Now, hello, James. Um, uh, so uh, he says, uh, Steel Panther bringing Ozzy on stage. What? I don't think that's <laughs> real. Did you watch Steel Panther? I didn't see them, no. No. I, 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 I'm, not sh- I'm not sure that's... Uh... It must have been a lookalike. Yeah, it, yeah, because I, I believe Susan Cook has replied back saying it was so scarily accurate. So I imagine it was someone in in, in Get Up um, acting as Ozzy. Um, ah, James okay. did reply again uh, with I think with I believe a serious answer. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Moshing at corn. Oh, you did those that. damn crows and Biffy. Don't care what haters say. Their set was awesome. Oh. Uh, which is a very, very, very nice comment. Um, Moshing at Corn, I probably saw you. You're probably depending next to him. You were, <laughs> probably, depending on where you were in the crowd, I probably saw you because I was right by the barrier, right up front in the centre for Corn. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was definitely one of my highlights as well. Scott Griffiths says, Spirit Box, they really should have been placed on a bigger stage. I agree with you there, Scott. You could not get in for love no money if you weren't there half an hour before. It, I mean, it sounded great, but I could not see a thing. I was outside. We, we managed to get in and we got, we, got in, we got in about 15, 20 minutes early. Oh, did you? And we were stood behind one of the back pillars. Oh. So, so we, only, we only just managed to get a good view. But they were, yeah, that again, another highlight for me was Spirit Box. They fucking smashed it. Um, they should have been on a, on a bigger stage. They should have got more. They should have um, had a, bit, a bigger, better slot. But they were fucking brilliant, and as all the as all the uh, um, not critics, um, wh- whomever writes the magazines and whoever obviously does the reviews and stuff, have all said, they've really established themselves in the UK with that with that show, and I totally agree. Um, they're definitely one for the future. Keep your eyes peeled. Eden Rose says those damn crows were an absolute highlight for me. I'm seeing those damn crows a lot in this comment section. Mm. Um, wasn't one that tickled me pickled for me to go and see, but it's good to see a, na- a, a name of a band like that um, constantly being repeated. Um, you like having your pickle tickled, don't you? I don't know what. It, does, it, it is a lot of fun. Um, Andy Tuna Groves, again, also mentions those damn crows, as well as Corn Maiden... A Day to Remember, Grandson, The Fame, and The Ingester. Oh, you've seen a lot of those, haven't you, as well? Um, Corn, Ovs. Um, Grandson, I saw. I thought I thought he was fucking a brilliant artist. Um, the Fame, they were they were a good pop punk act. Um, the Ingester, I've heard of The Ingester. They clashed with Wargasm um, on the Sunday and was very intrigued to see them, but I chose Wargasm instead. Um, I'd honestly put them as, again... Another sort of like Slipknot type large band um, act. Uh, they are very good. I would definitely recommend seeing them if you get a chance. Did you see a day to remember? I didn't. No, didn't? Oh, okay. I'm not a fan of. I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of a day to remember. Um, the only song that I could name of theirs, well, I can't even name the song. Did you? There was a meme that went round just as the pandemic kicked off. Um, it, uh, basically, the meme was. Um, disinfect your surroundings. Oh yeah, in a in a metal cause sort of um, guttural growls. Disinfect is... your surroundings. Exactly. Well done. Thank you. Well <laughs> done. Um, but yeah, obviously the the, the lyrics are uh, disrespect your surroundings, yes. not disinfect. <laughs> but, Just in case you weren't sure about that. <laughs> of course. Um, that was a great meme. That's the only the only track that I could actually put my finger on with um, the day to remember. Yeah. Um, he finishes the comment off actually saying the last one was so early and clearly unknown that I was easily at the barrier which is the first time I've managed managed to download is that Ingester? Ingester yeah fair play Um, because being at the barrier for any gig is an experience Um, so yeah Yeah. so so that's uh, definitely uh, a highlight worth mentioning for some people Uh, Laura Gordon who was uh, on one of our who was a guest on one of our podcasts at Download, uh, says, Bands-wise, 
Biffy, ADTR, Holding Absence, Cassiette, who I didn't Do you know who ADTR are? A day to remember. Yeah, no, I thought, I thought you'd, actually, you'd, you'd say it instead of using the abbreviation, but fair well, enough. that's what she's right. Uh, but I also loved the weather being back at a full-size download and our camp. Yes, yes. Our camp was a highlight. I, I, yeah. I did thoroughly enjoy that as well. Everyone was um, lovely. Everyone was they, so they, nice. They were, there wasn't a bad person in our campsite. There wasn't... Uh, do you know what? I th- I, I'm kind of, kind of even paranoid now. You know when you're in a situation with people... And there's always one dickhead. (laughs) And this time there was no dickheads. (laughs) It wasn't it nice not to have a dickhead there. Was I the dickhead in the crowd? I hope not. (laughs) Yeah, I wish we could have spent more time with them actually. Um, But we were see we're we're quite used to going off and doing our own thing. And I think they they were quite a tight friendship group already. Um, and so they probably noticed our absence a bit, um, mm. and I think it would. I think they probably would have appreciated us to sort of get to know them a bit more. Um, but for you know, I think we we sort of got there in the end, <laughs> and um, uh, had a lovely chat every day, and and was friendly with everybody. So yeah, absolutely, our camp was really nice. It was. It was. It was. It was. Um, Mother of mayhem. Now. I, I speak to this person, Lauren, thank you. Sorry, I just had to just double check that I knew her name. I speak to Lauren quite regularly and her partner on Instagram. We, yeah, um, we well, the three of us, we do talk regularly on, on Instagram. Um, so this, I'm glad that she's uh, left a comment as well. Um, I was really looking forward to Biffy and they were incredible. Never doubted them. I love them. However, for me, the headliner highlight had to be Kiss. They were amazing. Skin Dread were also brilliant, um, yeah. as always. Non-headliner highlight for me, though, was A Day to Remember and ADTR. Volby. ADTR. <laughs> um, oh, and Corn, Just all of it. Yeah. Mm. I think that's uh, that's just being happy to be back, isn't it? Happy to be back at Download uh, and, and uh, seeing it all again. Because we do miss it. This is why I think we get so much. This, you know, download blues is a thing. We've, you know, you suffer with your download blues when you come back, and um, I think we all get a bit of that, don't we? That, so that that accounts for us being perhaps a little bit. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think in this episode we're perhaps a bit. We're not as excitable as last time that we were here uh, because we were looking forward to the festival. Festival, uh, but I think you, especially because you've suffered a little bit with it, haven't you? And, and, and it's, it's yeah. I mean, it's 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 been I've been exhausted for the last three weeks, yeah. and um, I mean, so I, I mean a little bit of a, a personal life thing. So in the mornings, the dog wakes me up at five thirty every morning, jumps on the bed, gives a sniff, and makes me up to take him for a walk. And I've missed his wake up calls. Yeah. I'm that tired now that I, I've literally, I've, I've slept through his wake up wow. calls. Wow. And he's sat at the end of the bed waiting for me. And I'm not waking up till about six, half past six to wake up and take him for walks. Oh and, and I hate doing it because I love taking him for a walk early in the morning. It's, 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 it is a highlight of my day. Um, and just from how exhausted I've been, I've missed it a few times in the last few weeks. Um, and, 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 and if you, that's just how tired I am. Yeah, fucking hell. Yeah, yeah. Um, in reply, uh, oh no, actually, it's the same person. Um, did you say Kfinity ninety one? I didn't know. The last one I spoke to was uh, spoke of was uh, Lauren uh, or Mother of Mayhem. Have I missed? Have I done something weird here? Oh, I have. No, no. You no. Kfinity is there. You just no one spoke. No, we haven't mentioned him yet or okay. them yet. Sorry, them them. Uh, Carl Finity, it doesn't say Carl Finity, it actually says K Finity 91. A day to remember, ADTR, were my band of the weekend. Wow. Uh, Kiss were awesome, and the crowd for Spirit Box was incredible. Yes. Yes, we, we were. Yes, I, I we wish were. I'd bloody seen it. I couldn't get in. Uh, but the real highlights, the weather, how good was it to have the sun all weekend? Yes. Oh my God. I mean, a dry download, it's almost unheard of. Um, I mean, the only one I can really think of that was as dry, was it 18? Or 2018. Yeah. yeah, 2018 was quite dry and it was really hot, actually. I remember um, 
I actually had to douse my hoodie in water and basically cover myself up from the sun because I didn't have any cream either. But Oh, God. Um, you Berkeley so hunts. I had, to, I, had to, I had to literally douse my hoodie in cold water, cover up, and it was dry within minutes. Oh, right. Wow. And it was. Very, I remember it being a very sandy year as well. Lots of flying sand around for some reason. Lots of sand everywhere. D- dusty, yeah. It, 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 gets, it can get like that if it's been dry for too long. Um, and then um, he says, oh, and Creeper. Um, I, who I didn't see, actually. Um, but that's nice. Uh, <laughs> then we've got Gareth Walker, 83. It's a good year. Cracking year. Uh, corn were outstanding. There's been a lot yes. of love for corn, hasn't there? Yes, they were. Because, again, I think a lot of people... A lot of people forget how good corn are live. Like, I mean, I we had a discussion it. about we had yeah we had the discussion about corn in camp um, that we don't think they'll ever probably they'll ever make it to the headline status at download because um, they should have had their slot years ago um, they've never they haven't done anything groundbreaking for years blah 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 since 1994 they've got about 16 albums fucking hell okay yeah no they they do they're the and but do they do are, them I, live um. As in what? Do they do they tour live shows? Or yeah, they do, do, they, do, they, do they do album tours? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, they're, 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 they're always touring. They're always doing albums. They're, they're, they're always constantly busy. Okay. Um, and I think over the pandemic, and with the last few albums, like I said, not being groundbreaking, people forget how good Corn are live and how good their old stuff and the stuff they play live really is. They made variations of their songs and in this set that I'd never heard before. Oh, did they? Um, they played Adidas, um, All Dare Dream About Sex, which, <laughs> is a, which is a fucking brilliant track. And, and I don't think I've ever heard them play it live. Wow. So to hear it at download, it was amazing. I'm screaming at the top of my voice, All Dare Dream About Sex, not just because it's, true it's just because it's a fantastic track <laughs> i don't hear you talk about corn albums i don't think i've ever heard you talk about corn albums before look we've only look, we're coming towards the end of the podcast now you've asked me at the wrong time to talk about oh corn really albums. okay <laughs> mm-hmm. all right okay maybe maybe next time then maybe <laughs> we're gonna need a, we're gonna need a good we're gonna need a good four or five hours for to, to do that Oh uh, yeah, I forget how much you love corn actually, and, and yeah. how how much you have to say about them. So, yeah, yeah. Um, well, it's, either, it's either corn or envisions, and envisions have only got three <laughs> albums. That's the first time I mentioned envisions this week, this this, this time around. <laughs> and how could I forget? Do you know what we haven't mentioned? Sleep token either. Uh, no, I know. <laughs> they were they were fucking brilliant. That's one of my. That's yeah. another one of my highlights. They were fucking fantastic. Yeah. Dave and I were about six. We were like six deep near the barrier. They were fantastic. Yeah. Um, and uh, our last comment for um, this time around, Inexorable73, uh, his favourites were Skillet, Kiss and Maiden. Maiden have got a lot of love as well, I've noticed. Um, yeah, they apparently, um, obviously for me, for, for, for you, I mean, you've seen Maiden, uh, so you weren't like, too enthused to see them. I had obviously gone back to get a hoodie and then didn't come back. Oh, you didn't see Maiden? Um, no, I've, not, I've never seen Iron Maiden. I can still say to this day, I've wow. never seen Iron Maiden. You didn't even see a, like a, a second of it. You weren't there. No, for, no. Oh my God. The, the minute the funeral for a friend finished, I said to myself, I'm going to get a hoodie and I'm going to come back. <laughs> it's going to get cold. And I never came back. I fell asleep. That's so funny, because you were even talking about how you'd like to see Maiden because you never had. I do want to see Maiden. I just... <laughs> Sleep. The, the, my, 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 my punctured airbed was calling my name. Oh, you slept on. Oh, you were slept on the ground, weren't you? Really? Well, you flat bed. I was. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I came back from down with a massive bruise on my hip. Oh my god! You not you don't have much luck, do you, when it comes to beds, <laughs> camping no, beds? Because even in even in twenty eighteen, Dave actually bought me a new airbed at the festival because the one I had had popped. Oh my god! Um, did you bring any? Did you bring any uh, gaffer tape? In hindsight, maybe I should have done to try and find the puncture, but no. Oh, no. Oh, well, 
probably a bit drunk anyway to sort that out, weren't you? Um, uh, yes, I was very <laughs> drunk. <laughs> well, thank you so much for all your replies to our question, what were your highlights of Download 2022? We've enjoyed reading them all. Uh, we will have another question for next episode. We want to know who you would pick as your four headliners for 2023 because there are going to be four. Uh, so have a look on our socials, FestPod, um, to find that post and post your four headliners, and we might read yours out on the next episode. Uh, so that's it. We'll be back next month, and until then, we'll see you on the socials. Like I say, just search for FestPod, or go to festpod.co.uk for the rest of the episodes if you haven't got us on your podcast app already. Take a look at us on YouTube, and uh, give us a like and a subscribe as well while you're there. And if you do want any merch, there is still merch available. Um, so if you have a look on the socials, there'll be a post on there on how to find uh, us. It's just Etsy. Uh, just search for FestPod. Etsy is one of those marketplace type websites where people sell stuff. Uh, so we've got one. Uh, just go to FestPod. You can have a look at the uh, patches that we've got, uh, which are actually real. In fact, you've got a patch now, haven't you? I do. Yeah. Um, you, you gave me a patch, a, a download. I, I now I now have a mug, a patch, and a long sleeve T-shirt, and yes. I love the long sleeve T-shirt. Oh, do you really? I do. Yeah, I, I think that the, that the design that we put together for it is a very festival metal type long sleeve T-shirt. So I'm quite proud of that one. Yeah, because it was partly your design as well, wasn't it? Well, I don't mean to show off, but yeah. <laughs> um, so, but we're not currently, as I record this, uh, selling the t-shirts at the moment. Uh, we can, we're giving away, the, we're not giving away, we're selling <laughs> mugs and patches, uh, but the t-shirts are coming. We have t-shirts on the way. Uh, so uh, if you're listening on, on a thing that you can give us a review on, please do that. Five stars. Thanks very much. Uh, because it helps people find us uh, but that's it for this time around and we'll catch you next time bye a Wilco Productions podcast the Venga bus is coming